Welcome to Christ Supreme Ministry, the House of Restoration. We invite you to worship with us and receive the Spirit-filled message as we hear from the Lord. God bless you as you listen, in Jesus' name. the Lord. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. I bless the name of the Lord this, this Monday evening and I want to thank all of you for tuning in once again. Uh, please seize these opportunities to quickly send a short note to your friends and family. Uh, let them know that it is time for us to come together again and learn and be, and be blessed under the feet of God. 
Uh, let us bow our heads for prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity, Lord, for day five of this fasting and praying program. I want to thank you for that, Lord, for making it possible, Lord, for each and every one of us, Lord, to be part of this uh, blessing, Lord. We give glory unto you, Father. I want to thank you, Lord, for what you have done already. I want to thank you, Lord, for what you are doing now. I want to thank you, Father, Lord, for what you are going to do before the end of this program. Lord, we give glory unto you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I humble myself under your mighty hand, Father. Use me this evening, Father. Use me as a mighty instrument in your hand, Father, to bless your children wherever they are tonight, Father, Lord. Let the blessing of the Lord, Lord, that surpasses all understanding, let it minister to each and every one of us tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. I take authority over the atmosphere. I take authority over powers and principalities, territorial powers, trackers, and monitors that have been sent an assignment to monitor this meeting, Lord. I render them useless tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I especially welcome all of us tonight in the name of Jesus. Five days gone today is day five and uh, it's just getting uh interesting uh please keep on pushing forward uh depending on how the weather is please uh bear this in mind if the weather is very humid and very hot and you feel like drinking water before you break your fast please you can drink water if the weather is too hot for you you are permitted please it is not a sin know your body, know how your body works. If you dehydrate so fast, please, it's not a sin, drink some water. Just make sure it's only water. Okay. Tonight, by the grace of God, we are going to study something wonderful. And uh, tonight, uh, I want us to be very attentive. I'm going to do a little bit of teaching before we go into our programs. But tonight, we want to look into calling divine promises to timely manifestation. And my question is this, before we go into today's uh, 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 message, we know that God cannot change. We know that the word of God the, 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 is banker. When God speaks something, it must happen. And the very first question that should come to our mind is that if all these promises have been delayed, there could be divine delay. We are not talking about divine delays. We are not talking about that. Because a thousand years is like a day in the presence of God. God's calendar is different from us. So we understand that there could be divine delay. So we are not talking about that. But if delays are coming as a result of our own uh, 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 actions, those are the things that we are looking into these 10 days. So today, we want to learn about another thing. But the Lord will give us understanding as we go into the message in Jesus' name. Numbers, the book of Numbers, chapter 33. Numbers, chapter 33, I read from verse 50 to 56. Numbers, <coughs> chapter 33. Numbers, chapter 33, from verse 50 to 60. To 56, sorry. Numbers, chapter 3, from verse 50 to 60. To 56. I read, and the Lord spake, hallelujah, and the Lord spake unto Moses in the plain of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you destroy all their pictures destroy all their molten images quite pluck down all their high places and ye shall dispose the inhabitants of the land and dwell therein for i have given you the land to possess it and ye shall divide the land by the lot of an inheritance among your families and to the more you shall give more inheritance and to the fewer you shall give less inheritance 
every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his, his lot falleth. According to the tribes of your father, ye shall inherit. 55. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitant of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which you left remain of them shall be pricks to your eyes and thorns in your side and shall vex you in the land where wherein ye dwell. The last verse now. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as thought to do unto them. May the Lord bless his word in our heart in the name of Jesus. Beloved, one of the barriers why divine promises could be delayed or may not manifest is what we want to look into. And the Israelites, they are just the perfect example of what we want to talk about tonight. And what we want to look into tonight is disobedience. Disobedience to divine instructions. Disobedience to God. If we make ourselves to be habitual, disobedient children of God, then it's going to cost us a lot. And from the passage that we have read, the Bible says God called Moses and the leaders of the land. God gave them an express instruction right away from verse 50 that, that we read. From Numbers chapter 33, from verse 50, God gave Moses an instruction and all the way to verse 51. And the Lord says, speak to the children of Israel when you pass through Jordan into the land. Then in verse 52, to be specific now, in verse 52, then look at this. The instruction was very clear, very clear. There's no room for ambiguity here. Then the Lord said, then when you get there, you must drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you. You must destroy their images that they used to worship idols. You must destroy their molten images. And you must pull down all their altars, all their high places. These are well, the category of instruction. Drive them out. That is the first instruction. Destroy all their pictures, all their images of idols, all the molten images. Destroy them. And bring down all their altars where they offer sacrifices. This was what the Lord told them to do. But unfortunately, because time will not permit me tonight, the Israelites got to the promised land. They did not do exactly what God asked them to do. They did not. They drove out part of the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites. They drove out some. And they kept some of them remnant. They did not destroy all the pictures. They did not destroy all their altars. And they started mingling with the Canaanites. In fact, they even got married to some of the Canaanite women. And before we know what was happening, the Israelites started worshipping their God. Everything that the Lord asked them not to do, they did the opposite. May I say this from onset tonight, people of God. Partial obedience is disobedience. Let me say this again. If God gave you five instructions and you obey four out of five, there's no pass mark when it comes to obedience unto God. There's no partial pass mark. If you obey four out of five, you have just disobeyed God. If you obey 10 out of 12 instruction, it's total disobedience unto God. Hallelujah. This was the situation and the predicament of the Israelites. They drove out some of the Canaanites and they left some. They pulled down some of the high places and they left some. Why did God ask them to drive them all out? Because the Canaanites, the owner, the original owners of the land, they did abominable things. They worship idols. They offer their children as, so, uh, as sacrifice. They burn their children, their daughters, their sons. They offer them as sacrifice to their idols. So they have polluted the land. They did abominable things. That's why God asked them, 
the Israelites to send them out, to send them out and destroy all their idols. Why did God say this again? So that the Israelites will not be, uh, uh, will not be changed, so that they will not uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 entice them to join them. So God knew that, yes, if you, come, if, if you leave, coexist with these uh, idol worshippers, they will manipulate you. They will make you to serve their God. Do not go near their women. They will entice you with their bodies. So God knew all this. But unfortunately, Israelites did not do that. And they broke the law of God. Praise the Lord. Let's go forward in verse 53. In verse 53, the Lord said, Dispose the inhabitants, send them out. I have given you that land belongs to you. You are now the owner. But send them out and do exactly what I asked you to do. In verse 54, what did they do again? In verse 54, and you will now divide the land among yourself according to the size of your, uh, of your clan and divide it and enjoy the place. But in verse 55, because of our time, in verse 55, of the same chapter look at what the lord said but the lord said if but if you will not drive out the inhabitant of the land before you then it's going to happen what is going to happen that those that you left to remain of them they shall become pricks in your eyes they will become problem for you the ones that you left they will become problems for you. They will be like thorns in your body. They shall vex you in the land. Meaning that if you don't drive out all of them, the ones that you kept alive, they are going to become pain. And you know what it means? When you have, when you have sharp objects pricking you on your side or on your foot, the Lord said, this is what the Canaanites will do unto them. And it was exactly like that. And the peak of this problem, of this situation, was that the Lord said, I will do unto you, the Israelites, what I did for these people. In verse 56, let's go there. I will do unto you, moreover, it shall come to pass, that I shall do unto you, the Israelites, as I taught to do to them. What is it that the Lord is saying here? The Lord says, as I allow you, as I gave you favor to overcome, to overpower them, and send them out, out of their land. I will also allow your enemies to come into this land and overpower you and take you into captivity and destroy your children and take your wives and kill all the men. The Lord says, I will do this if you don't obey me completely. And it happened. Hallelujah. The Assyrian captivity, Israel went into captivity because of their disobedience, the promise of God did not come to pass. It partially manifested. They got to the land, but they did not take hold of the old land. They left the Canaanites. So there was a partial fulfillment of God's promise, promises upon their life. Because of their disobedience, the Assyrian came and they took over the land. And they took Israel unto captivity. Who was again? The Babylon. The Babylonian also came. Oh, yes, Judah went into captivity. They were taken to Babylon. Yes, they were taken to Babylon. And they were there for 70 years. Many of them died. Many of them maimed. But they served their enemies. Both Judah and Israel, they went into captivity because of disobedience. Because of disobedience, people of God. Because of disobedience to divine instruction. Yes, thank God, we are all children of God. But if indeed we know that we have a living God, all God expressed from us is perfect obedience, not, a, not partial obedience. Let me say this again. Do we know that delayed obedience unto God is dis disobedience? If God has given you an instruction to do something in January, and you drag your feet, and you did not do it until April or August. That is disobedience. God cannot be waiting on you. He is the Almighty God. So, partial obedience is total disobedience. Delayed obedience is also disobedience unto God. 
So, we want to look into seven facts quickly before I start teaching. Seven facts about what disobedience can do and what it is. How it can rob us of our divine promises. Number one, let me say this. Number one, please, I encourage you, take notes, please, so that you can reflect on this at your private time. Number one, whenever we disobey God, we despise and disrespect the Almighty. So, disobedience is disrespectful. Apart from being seen, it means that we despise God. We disrespect Him. Those of us that are, that are parents, how do we feel if our children don't give us the due respect and regard that we deserve? How do we feel? Oh, we won't like it? Yes. So it is. God doesn't like it. When we don't obey God, it is despise and it is disrespect unto the Almighty God. Oh, yes. And it is also a sin. Whether your disobedience is deliberate or not deliberate, whether it is deliberate or not deliberate, anytime you disobey God, it is despised, despiteful, and disrespect unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. In Malachi chapter 1, verse 6, the Lord demanded of the priests. In Malachi chapter 1, verse 6, the Lord demanded from the priests. And the Lord said, as a son honoreth his father, as a son honoreth his father, and as a servant his master, if then I be your father, where is my honor? If I be a master, where is my fear? Say the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name. And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? So God meant business. So God is asking you, if I'm your father, I need to be respected. I need to be honored. So bear this in mind. Any time we disobey God, we are being disrespectful. We despise the almighty God. But the Lord will help us that you won't find yourself in that situation in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two. Number two. Disobedience is like a seed planted. Anytime we disobey God, it's like you putting a seed of corn or seed of tomato. You put it on the floor or on the ground on your farmland. It is going to grow. Anytime you disobey God or you disobey divine instruction, you have just planted a seed. That seed will grow. It will grow. But the type of fruit it's going to bring is always unpleasant. Anytime you disobey God, you have just planted a seed. And that seed, when it grows, the consequence is the fruit. The consequence of disobedience are not always pleasant. We saw the one of the Israelites. Time will not permit us to teach that into details tonight. Anytime you disobey God, bear in mind that you have just sown a seed. And when this seed fully is fully grown and matures and it brings out fruit, the fruit is always unpleasant. It's always unpleasant. But I pray for somebody tonight that you will plant only fruitful and pleasant seed in Jesus' name. Amen. Number three, disobedience always steals from us. It delays and denies timely manifestation of divine promises. Anytime we disobey God, that spirit of delay is a thief. It's a thief. It has come to steal from us. Whenever you disobey God, it, that spirit comes to steal from you. And what it does, it delays, it, it postpones, it makes the promises of God to tarry, to tarry, to tarry before it comes to pass. Oh yes, in Second Peter chapter three verse nine, in Second Peter chapter three verse nine, the Bible says God is not slack concerning His promises. Can you see? God is not late at all. God is always on time. God is not slack. Concerning his promise, as some men count it to be slackness. No, but it is long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that we should come to repentance. So, God can never be late at all. Disobedience steals from us because you think that you see now, God has not done it, that's why I'm behaving this way. No, 
No, no, no, no. God is not slack. He's watching over his word. At the appointed time, the Lord will minister to your, sin, to, to, to your needs in the name of Jesus. Number four. Number four. In some cases, disobedience is like parasite that lives and feeds on the host. Yes. You know, back home when we are growing, we'll see some children. They are this tall. Their leg is like this. Their arms like this. But their tummy is like this. The children, we see them, they eat a lot, but they are not growing. Why? Because there is an endoparasite. There is parasite inside of them that is feeding on the nutrition that they are eating. No matter how well they are fed, the parasite takes the best of the nutrition. Unless they deal with the parasite inside, that, that child will not grow well. This is exactly what disobedience does. If, this, if you are a disobedient child of God, you've opened the canker worm of parasite. They will come in. It's not that God is not releasing your business, your blessings. As soon as God is releasing it, the parasite of disobedience inside of you is taking the best out. A lot of Christians, oh, they say, oh, I just finished 40 days of fasting. Oh, I just did 70 days of fasting. Oh, I just sowed seed. Oh, I just did this. Yet, I'm not getting anything. Look inward. Look inward. There could be an endoparasite. There could be the parasite disobedience that is living on you as the host. And is taking the best out of you. May the Lord deliver us from the parasite of disobedience in the name of Jesus. Number five, we have two more before we start praying. Number five, number five, whenever we choose to disobey God, whenever we choose to disobey God, we always shortchange ourselves. And Satan is always happy about this. Let me say this again. Anytime we choose to disobey God, we are the one that loses. It's not God. God has nothing to lose. God is a loving father. He said, I have a good plan and a good purpose for you. It is not a plan of evil, but it is a plan to take you to an expected end. God has made that provision before the foundation of the earth. So anytime we choose to disobey God, we suffer. We shortchange ourselves. Let me give you an example. In Genesis chapter 3, we won't be able to go there. Genesis chapter 3, God put uh, Adam and Eve, God put them in the, in the garden of Eden only for them to nurture, to wet the garden and just to eat and enjoy. But they chose to disobey God. You know the rest of the story. They chose to disobey God. What happened? God drove them out of Eden. Now they have to till the ground. Now they have to suffer. Now, women have to go through pain during child delivery. Men have to walk, walk, walk. So don't be surprised. But thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to imagine that God has, if, if uh, Adam and Eve did not break, uh, disobey God in Genesis chapter 3, I want you to imagine that God is able to make everything available for us. But because of their disobedience, it changed everything that the Lord wanted to do. Because Adam and Eve, I mean, they, they are just an example of how God wants us to relax, to be in comfort, and to be blessed. So, whenever we choose to disobey God, we always shortchange ourselves. Adam and Eve, they were sent out, and then they start working and laboring very hard. But thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ, for provision that the Lord made for our Lord Jesus Christ to rescue us, to reconcile us, and restore us. And the name of the Lord will be glorified in the name of Jesus. Number six. Number six. One more after this. Number six. More often than not, when we disobey God, it is always because of carnal mindedness and because of our desires. Anytime we choose to disobey God, oh yes, it is because we want to fulfill the immediate needs. We want to gratify, we want to satisfy the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Whenever we choose to disobey God, yes, we exchange what God wants to do for things that are temporary. Anytime we disobey God, 
what we do is that we exchange the promises of God for things that will end up in the grave. Anytime we disobey God, it means we prefer temporal things against things that are eternal. I want us to pay attention to this. And the devil is always happy with this. He wants to take the eternal gift and give you things that will perish. That was why he took our Lord Jesus Christ to the pinnacle and said, look at all these things. Look at all the riches and the glamour of this world. I will give this unto you. But remember, all those glamours and the riches of this world, they shall perish on this earth. For we have come unto this world with nothing. And we are going to go back with nothing. So if our Lord Jesus Christ had fell for the trick of the devil, everything that the devil claimed to give him is going to stay here. It's going to be dis dissolved and destroyed here. So the devil is very smart. He will give you temporary thing to take eternal thing from you. But the Lord will deliver us. Your eternal blessing will not be taken away from you in the name of Jesus. And lastly, and lastly, disobedience can easily become a stronghold. Disobedience. Anytime we choose to be rebellious or to be disobedient unto God, if we have the lifestyle and the pattern, it makes us to be habitual disobedient children of God and it becomes a stronghold. A stronghold is a fortification. A stronghold is something that is fortified, power, powerful than you, that can take you uh, captive, that can have dominion on you. So, Disobedience can become stronger, meaning that it will take hold of you. You will no longer be able to get out of it. A lot of people want to please God, but because there is a stronghold of disobedience in their life, they rise and they fall again. They rise and they fall again. Praise the Lord. Time will not permit me, but Romans, this is the last Bible passage, Romans 7 from verse 19 to 20. This is the last Bible passage, Romans 7 from 19 to 20. This was Apostle Paul. He cried out, he said, for the good that I would do, say, for the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. In verse 20, now, if I do, that I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin dwelleth in me. What does this verse mean? What it means is that Paul the Apostle cried out, said, who shall deliver me from this situation? He said, those things that I really don't want to do, those things that I know that are bad things, those are the things I find myself doing. The things that are good, that I ought to be doing, those things I don't do them. So there is a conflict, there is a battle that is going on in our body. So Paul the Apostle said, if you see me doing the bad things that I'm not supposed to do, it is not me. It means sin has found itself into me. But I pray for somebody that the Lord Almighty God that shed his blood at Calvary, his blood has washed you clean from the power from the stronghold of disobedience and sin and you are free in the name of jesus i want us to rise up tonight as we begin to pray i want us to rise up tonight i want us to rise up tonight in the name of jesus i want you to rise up tonight i want you to rise up i want you to begin to thank the lord as we go into the prayer i want you to go before the lord go before the lord tonight i want you to pray say lord jesus say lord jesus i thank you for day five of this fasting and prayer program, my expectations shall be met. My joy shall be full in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Father, I thank you for the grace to partake of this fasting and praying program. Today is day five. Thank you, Lord, for the grace. Day one, two, three, and four. Holy Spirit divine, I declare in the name of Jesus that my expectations shall be met. My joy shall be full. 
in the name of Jesus, my expectation shall be met. My joy shall be full. In the name of Jesus, I want you to begin to thank God. Father, I thank you because I know you have done something already in my life and in my situation. Holy Spirit divine, I thank you. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, my expectations shall be met. My joy shall be full. In the name of Jesus, let the name of the Lord be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want you to declare like this. Say, seed of disobedience. Seed of disobedience planted in my heart due to my carnal weakness. I command the seed to die in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, seed of disobedience planted in my heart. Holy Spirit divine, I command the seed. Let the seed of disobedience die. Let it die. Let it die. Let it die. Every seed, every kind of seed of disobedience. Oh, yes, planted in my heart. I command them. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Seed of disobedience planted in my heart. As a result of my carnal weakness, in the name of Jesus, I command the seed, die in the name of Jesus. I shall no longer disobey divine instructions in the name of Jesus. I shall no longer, oh yes, in the name of Jesus, disobey divine, divine commandments in the name of Jesus. All my divine promises that have been delayed because of my disobedience. Father, have mercy on me. Let them manifest, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want you to declare this. Say, spiritual parasites of disobedience. Spiritual parasites of disobedience. Feeding on my endeavors, divine promises, and hard work be exterminated by the blood of Jesus. I want you to pray. Oh, yes. Oh, ye spiritual parasite of disobedience, feeding all my endeavors, feeding all my divine promises, feeding all my hard work. Be terminated, be exterminated. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, be exterminated by the blood of Jesus. Spiritual parasite of disobedience, feeding on my endeavors, feeding on my prayers, feeding on divine promises, feeding on my hard work, feeding on my device, on my on my finances. Be exterminated. Oh, yes, by the blood of Jesus, every parasite of disobedience, eating the reward of my hard labor, of my hard labor, be exterminated by the blood of Jesus. Declare that, declare that, declare that in the name of Jesus. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual parasite of disobedience, feeding on my efforts, feeding on my endeavors, feeding on my divine promises and hard work, be exterminated by the blood of Jesus. Be exterminated by the blood of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, they are exterminated. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to declare that this. I reject partial manifestation of my divine promise. I reject partial manifestation of my divine promise. Double door of blessings open unto me. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, Divine Father, I reject partial manifestation of my divine promise. Double door of my blessings. Open unto me. Command them now. Open, open, open. Double door of blessing. Open, open, open unto me. In the name of Jesus, I reject partial manifestation. Double door of my divine blessing. Open unto me by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Begin to open. Begin to open. Begin to open. Begin to open. In the name of Jesus. I reject partial manifestation of my divine promise. Double door of my blessing. Open unto me. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Open unto me. Double door of blessing. Double door of fruitfulness. Double door of enlightenment. Double door of increase. Open unto me. 
In the name of Jesus, open unto me. In the name of Jesus, open unto me. Partial manifestation, I reject it. My blessings, oh, my divine promises begin to manifest fully in the name of Jesus. Commander, 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 commander. They must open a double door of enlightenment, double door of fruitfulness. Oh, yes, open, 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 open unto me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus mighty name they open. Amen. Hallelujah. Declare this unto the Lord. Strong man of disobedience and unbelief. Strong man of disobedience and unbelief. Standing against timely manifestation of my blessing. Receive judgment of fire. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, strong man of disobedience and unbelief, standing against my blessing, standing against the manifestation of my blessings. Receive, 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 receive judgment of fire. Receive, 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 receive judgment of fire. In the name of Jesus, receive judgment of fire. Every strong man of disobedience and unbelief. Oh, yes, preventing the manifestation of my blessings. In the name of Jesus, receive judgment of fire. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Go before the Lord and declare this. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord, from personal habits and lifestyle that have elongated my waiting time for my breakthrough. Deliver me, Holy Spirit divine. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, deliver me from personal habits and lifestyle that have elongated, that have extended my waiting time for my breakthrough. Deliver me. Deliver me. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, deliver me. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, Father. Holy Spirit divine, deliver me, Father, from a personal habit and lifestyle. Oh yes, that have extended my waiting time for my for my breakthrough deliver me holy spirit divine deliver me holy spirit divine deliver me father from any habit of lifestyle or choices that i've made that is that has now extended my waiting time for my breakthrough deliver me oh lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, deliver me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me, oh Lord, from such habits and lifestyles. Robbing me of my blessings. In the name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want you to pray like this. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me and my household, O oh Lord. Wherever we have despised you, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, have mercy on me and my household. Father, have mercy on me and my household. Wherever we have despised you, Father, forgive us, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus, do not allow this, Lord, to hinder answers to my prayer. Wherever I have despised you, wherever my children have despised you, wherever we have despised you as a children, uh, as a church of God, that is now hindering answers to our prayer. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us, Father. Have mercy, Father, on us. Have mercy, Father, on us. Have mercy, Father, on us. In the name of Jesus, forgive us, Father. In the name of Jesus, forgive us, Holy Spirit divine. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are forgiven. Amen. I want you to pray like this. Say, I recover. I recover missed opportunities and divine favor caused by my unbelief and disobedience. 
to divine instruction. I recover them. Begin to recover them. Father, I recover missed opportunities and divine favor. Oh yes, caused by my unbelief and disobedience to divine instruction. I recover them. Every opportunity that I have missed, ministerial opportunities that I have missed and divine favor caused because of my unbelief and disobedience, I recover them. Begin to recover them. Every business opportunity, financial, career, marital, fruitful opportunity, oh yes, that you have missed as a result of your unbelief and disobedience. Oh, yes, to divine instruction. Begin to recover them. Begin to recover them. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. Recover them. Every missed opportunities, I recover them. Father, I pray for my children. Let's pray for our children. Every missed opportunities and divine favor that any of my children have missed, Father, in the name of Jesus, help them to recover them, Father. In the name of Jesus, recover them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, they are recovered. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to declare this unto the Lord. I want you to cry unto the Lord. Say, spiritual embargo. Spiritual embargo. Place upon timely manifestation of my divine promise. Spiritual embargo. Place upon timely manifestation of my divine promise. Be removed by the mighty hands of God. Command them now, they must be removed. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, every spiritual embargo, oh, yes, every limitation, every restriction placed upon timely manifestation of my divine promise be removed, be removed by the mighty hand of God. Commander, 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 be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed by the hand, by the mighty hand of God. Every spiritual barrier, every spiritual embargo placed upon my certificate, spiritual embargo, placed upon my life, spiritual embargo, placed upon my health, spiritual embargo, placed upon timely manifestation of my divine promotion, be removed by the mighty hand of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, they are removed. Amen. Say, I recover. I recover all my virtues and divine promises stolen from me due to my disobedience to God. I recover them in the name of Jesus. All my virtues and divine promises stolen from me because of my disobedience to God. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, I recover them, recover them, recover them. I want you to repeat, people of God, I want you to pray, 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 pray. You might not see them physically, but you recover them spiritually. I recover all my virtues and divine promises stolen, taken away from me as a result of my disobedience to God in the name of of Jesus, I recover them. 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 I recover them in the name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we recover them. Amen. Let us look at this prayer, prayer 11. You can see dotted lines. It means insert your own desire. We already know this. As it fits to your situation. Go before the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Hasten your word to perform it concerning my marriage, concerning my business, concerning my spiritual well-being, concerning my children, concerning my fruitfulness. Begin to pray now. Lord Jesus, oh yes, hasten, hasten to perform your word concerning my blessing, concerning my elevation, concerning my healing. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, hasten to perform it. Holy Spirit divine, hasten your word to perform it. In the name of Jesus, hasten your word to 
perform it in the name of Jesus. It's in your word to perform it. Begin to ask the Lord. Enough is enough. Every spirit that wants me to wait, 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 and without nothing to show for it, begin to ask the Lord. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus. He's in your word to perform it. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus. He's in your word to perform it. In the name of Jesus. He's in your word to perform it. In the name of Jesus. He's in your word to perform it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next one. I want you to go before the Lord. I want you to declare this from the bottom of your heart. Cry unto the Lord. Say, regardless of my current situation and condition, regardless of my current situation and condition, God's plans and God's plans and mandate shall manifest in my life and household. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Regardless of my current situation and condition, God's plans and mandate must manifest in my life and household. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, it does not matter what I'm going through. Holy Spirit divine, regardless of my current situation and condition, God's plans and mandates shall manifest in my life and household. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, regardless of my current situation and condition, God's plans and mandate shall manifest in my life and household. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare that. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, regardless of my current situation and condition, God's plans and mandate shall manifest in my life, shall manifest in my family. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Go before the Lord. Declare this. Say stagnation and delay anointing. Stagnation and delay anointing. Flowing around my divine promises and expectation. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Commanded to dry up by fire of God in the name of Jesus. Anointing of stagnation and delay that is flowing around my divine promises and expectation. Dry up by fire of God. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Commanded to dry up. Commanded to dry up. They must dry up. In the name of Jesus, they must dry up. In the name of Jesus, they must dry up. In the name of Jesus, stagnation and delay anointing. Oh yes, flowing around my divine promises and expectations. Dry up, dry up by fire of God. They must dry up. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's take number 14 like this. Go before the Lord. Say, Thou mighty hands of God. Thou mighty hand of God. That parted the Red Sea. Should be Red Sea. Thou mighty hand of God. Thou mighty hand of God that parted the Red Sea. This should be Red Sea. In the name of Jesus, I command you, oh yes, remove all unseen barriers. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, remove all barriers in the name of cuts, cuts, cuts. I'm saying to you that that one should be red, not real sea. I want you to change it. Should be Red Sea when I'm trying to call your attention to that. Red Sea. Okay. Want to start again? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's take number fourteen like this. Let's declare this. Say, Thou mighty hands of God. That parted the Red Sea for Israelites. Remove all unseen barriers to the manifestation of my divine promises. 
In the name of Jesus, thou mighty hands of God that passed the rest for the Israelites, begin to remove all unseen barriers to the manifestation of my divine promises. In the name of Jesus, begin to remove them. 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 In the name of Jesus, thou mighty hands of God, that parted the rest for the Israelites, begin to remove from my life every unseen barrier, every unseen barrier. Oh yes, barrier to the manifestation of my divine promises. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed, be removed, be removed, be removed. In the name of Jesus, every unseen barrier. Oh yes, be removed in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, they are removed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's move to the next one like this. See, every satanic setup, every satanic setup and roadblocks meant to cause delay in the journey of my life be removed to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus, satanic setup and roadblocks meant to cause delay, meant to cause delay in my life or in the journey of my life. Be removed, be removed to the pit of hell. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus, beloved, I want us to pray this one. Oh, yes, satanic setup and roadblocks. Oh, yes, causing delay in my life, causing delay in my home, causing delay in anything I do be removed now and go to the bottomless pit of fire in the name of Jesus oh yes, oh yes, oh yes satanic setup and roadblocks meant to cause delay in my life be removed now be removed now in the name of Jesus, be removed to the pit of hell. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Be removed, be removed, be removed. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, be removed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, they are removed. Amen. Spiritual agents. Spiritual agents assigned to monitor manifestation time of my divine promises. I terminate your evil assignment over me in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual agent assigned to monitor the manifestation time. Assigned to monitor the time of the manifestation of my divine promises. I terminate, I terminate in the name of Jesus. Terminate in the name of Jesus. I terminate your evil assignment. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, terminate it, terminate in the name of Jesus. I terminate your evil assignment. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Spiritual agent assigned to monitor manifestation time of divine promises. I terminate your evil assignment. I terminate your evil assignment over my life in in the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, they are terminated. Amen. We have three more prayers. Let's take number 17. Say, God of sudden appearance. God of sudden appearance. Manifest your glory upon my prayer petition for immediate visitation. In the name of Jesus, God of sudden appearance, God of sudden appearance, manifest your glory upon my prayer petitions for immediate visitation. In the name of Jesus, God of sudden appearance, manifest your glory upon my prayer petitions for immediate visitation. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's move forward. Let's pray number 18 like this. Say, I refuse. I refuse to exchange my divine promises for temporal benefits and things that end up in the grave. I refuse to exchange my divine promises 
for temporal benefit and things that end up in the grave. In the name of Jesus, I shall not exchange my divine promises for temporal benefit and things that end up in the grave. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, I reject every negative exchange. I shall not exchange my divine promises for temporal benefits and things that end up in the grave. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to exchange my divine blessing for temporal benefit and things that end up in the graveyard. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes Father I pray for my children. I refuse. Oh yes they shall not exchange their divine promises for temporal benefit and things that end up in the grave. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Go before the Lord. Say by your mercy O Lord by your mercy, O oh Lord, make haste and move the hand of my destiny clock forward. Take it again. Say, by your mercy, O oh Lord, make haste, move the hand of my destiny clock forward for manifestation and fulfillment. In the name of Jesus, by your mercy, O oh Lord, by your mercy, O oh Lord, make haste and move the hand of my destiny clock clock forward for manifestation and fulfillment. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, make haste, Holy Spirit divine. Make haste, Holy Spirit divine. Move the hand of my destiny clock forward for manifestation and for fulfillment. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's take the last one like this. Whether the devil likes it or not, whether the devil likes it or not, I shall laugh last and laugh best. I shall laugh last and laugh best concerning my expectation this year. In the name of Jesus, whether the enemy likes it or not, I shall laugh last. I shall laugh best concerning all my expectations this year. In the name of Jesus, whether the enemy likes it or not, I, Henry wrote to me, Fakwade, and my household, we shall laugh last. We shall laugh best concerning all our expectations. In the name of Jesus, we shall laugh last. We shall love best concerning all our expectations this year. In the name of Lord, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have declared. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord, beloved, for the grace, for another opportunity to be part of day five of our fasting and prayer program. We thank God for what God is do, has done tonight. I encourage us, if you need to listen to this prayer again, go back to the YouTube. I want you to create personal time. The prayers that we have given out, please find time to pray them. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Please let me say this. Tomorrow, Tuesday, tomorrow, Tuesday, June the 28th, uh, our Bible study will not come up by 6.30. Because it's going to kind of clash. Because this fastest prayer starts by 8 o'clock. And Bible studies at time might not finish until after 8. So the Bible study is not coming up tomorrow. But rather come for fastest prayer by 8 p.m. Please pass this message to your friends and family. So join us tomorrow by 8 p.m. for fastest prayer. And it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Don't let us forget the last day of this 10-day fasting and prayer is Saturday, June 24th. The last day is Saturday, June 24th. We shall come in person to the church for confront and conquer deliverance service. Come with expectation. Come and encounter God. And God of sudden appearance will minister to our needs in the name of Jesus. Let us rise up and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for day five for what you have done today. Thank you, Lord, for putting to shame the spirit of disobedience. Thank you, Lord Almighty God, for destroying the parasite of disobedience that has been feeding on our blessings. Lord, we give glory unto you. 
Thank you, Father, for forgiving us. If there are anywhere we have despised you in the past, Lord, we just thank you for forgiving us. Lord, as we go tonight, that which that we have asked you, we are convinced of this very thing, Lord, that Holy Spirit divine, that we will laugh last and laugh best this very year concerning our expectation in the name of Jesus. Let every prayer petition this year become testimony. Let all expectation be met, Father, in the name of Jesus. So by faith, Father, I stand as your oracle and I speak concerning your children and concerning my own life. Oh yes, every divine expectation, every divine promise that you have been waiting for, that has started, but the power in the name of Jesus, they shall manifest right now at this hour in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. As we continue tomorrow to wait on you, Father Lord, strengthen us, Father. Let there be divine revelation. The secret that we must know, Father, that the, the, our promises we manifest, reveal that secret unto us, Father, in the name of Jesus. The secret that we need to know so that will be fulfilled in our life. Let those secrets be released in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray pray for this fellow and I use the sword of the spirit which is the word of God every rope, every fetter that they have tied around your destiny every rope, every fetter every chain every ancient chain that has kept you on one spot concerning a particular petition that you have cried day and night I exercise the sword of the spirit I cut apart now those fetters and chains and rope now I cut them into pieces now be free now yes lose him now lose her now and let your destiny go you destiny I command you now begin to move forward now manifest manifest in the life of this sister manifest in the life of this brother in the name of Jesus you shall no longer be tied down now in the name of Jesus the chain the fetter the rope shall no longer come together there shall be performance of that which have been done tonight father in your life in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit divine blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Let's share the grace, beloved. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For what the Lord has done tonight, let us shout three Jericho, pull it down, hallelujah, unto the Lord. One, two, go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. See you tomorrow. Join us tomorrow. Same time. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for listening to this message. We invite you to visit us at www.christsupreme.ca for more spirit-filled messages and for more information about the church. You can also call us at 647-884-8494. God bless you.